Okay, here is one more quick video on graphing with Google Docs to help with your homework. This time we want a line graph. The storyline here is that the, the geologists want to see how rainfall affected the river levels. Hmm, when it rains harder, it we get more, we get higher river levels. And let's see if that's true. And so they were using, or she was using data from the USGS, which is United States Geological Survey. So got data which indicated how much rainfall came down in centimeters and then we know that but we're not quite sure how much the river is going to raise or in this case how much flow is going to go by and even though we're, we like to use the metric system uh, the USGS uses cubic feet per second so that's just the way it is we could convert it to cubic meters but I didn't feel like doing that right now so in any case uh, rainfall would be the independent variable and river flow would be the dependent variable because we're not quite sure what the data is going to be after a known amount of rain. So this type of graph would best be to do a line graph because we're looking at kind of a relationship between rain versus river flow. So what we need to do again is to get into Google Chrome and, or anything but get into uh, Google Docs and create a spreadsheet again. So here's the same data, the rainfall and the river flow. And like you've done before, you're going to highlight the area you want. And since we want this as independent variable, the rainfall, whatever's on top, or if you had a column on the left side, ends up on the x axis. So again, we go to insert chart, and this time we want a line graph. Now, you had to play around a little bit with Google Docs. It's not quite as good as Excel, but if I click on a few things here, you'll see we're getting closer to what we want here. Um, it's not quite the graph we're going to pick, but this is pretty much what we want. We, you might recall the data said that it was a half inch, half 0.5 centimeters, I think I put in there, um, up to 6 centimeters, something like that. And this is pretty much the trend that we're seeing. Um, we go to chart selection. And we want, this is, would work, but we want, we don't necessarily want that shading in there. So I go to lines and click on the line chart. Now we've kind of cleared that out. It's pretty much what the other graph looked like, except without the shading. And we're almost done. Of course, what we need to do is add a chart title and, and label the axes. So again, under Customize, under Title, we can put in Migrate Graph, or you can put in Effect of Rainfall on River Flow. But I'll just put in My Graph right now, because I don't feel like typing too much more. But you'll put in an appropriate title. You go down scroll down a little bit to the axis again and on a horizontal axis this would be um, rainfall in centimeters and I hit return and sure enough there's some rainfall in centimeters and the last thing you need to do of course is label the y axis which is the dependent variable and I click on my axis box now I have left vertical now I can change the title so this would be river flow and as I said, it's cubic feet per second. So I'll just write uh, CF per second. And hit return. And we're pretty much done. I can insert my graph. And there we go. So here's a quick and easy way of doing line graphs using uh, Google Docs. Hope this helps for your homework. Have fun.